Well, welcome back to Bourbon Hall. Today's video is a little bit too long for a short because I've got too many whiskeys and bourbons I've found lately. So it will be a short video, but it won't be a YouTube short. So what have we found lately? Well, first up, this Pursuit United. This is their double oak bourbon. It's fantastic. I've done a review on this. In fact, I've actually put it in a blind as well. If you see this in your bottle shop, I'm telling you, you should try it. It's very good. Next up is a local distillery, probably not available in your area unless you're in Georgia. Big Creek Distilling Company. Uh, this is a Georgia Straight Bourbon Whiskey. It's a single barrel. It's a 126 proof, and it's absolutely delicious. But it is a little bit hot, so you might want to dilute that with a few drops of limestone water. I did taste it at the distillery. I thought it was fabulous. We came home with a bottle. I've yet to open it, so we will be doing a review, a two-minute review of that on the channel soon. Next up is a brown bag special from uh, Sprayberry Bottle Shop where you don't quite know what you're getting and that is used as a, kind of like a raffle opportunity to get an allocated. So what did I get in my brown bag? This Oak and Eden. This is their Wheat and Spire and if you know anything about Oak and Eden, they put a spire in the bottle. Uh, this is a weeded bourbon. Uh, it's not infused. It is 114 proof and uh, the oak spiral is an American oak spiral. And, you know, I've always wondered, is this gimmick or is it real? Well, we're going to do a two-minute review and let you know, is it real or do you pass on it? So, that was our, actually, that was our most recent acquisition. We got that yesterday. Next up, Jeff the Creed. And I know Jeff the Creed has got to sometimes a bad name. I wasn't a fan of their uh, regular straight bourbon whiskey. Uh, they do use the, uh, was it the Bloody Butcher Corn, which I thought it gave it a little bit of an unusual taste. I, I didn't care for the bourbon, but their uh, multigrain I actually liked. This is their six-year-old weeded bourbon. Not opened it yet, so we're going to be doing a two-minute review on the channel uh, on this one. Next up, one I have done a review and I thought was fabulous. Uh, I do see it in Georgia. This one I got in Tennessee. Uh, it is their Filibuster Single Estate. Uh, this is their single bourbon. It is 115.10 proof. It was under $60, and I thought it was fabulous. It is a good, basic bourbon whiskey, a good single barrel. If you get the chance to buy one, I recommend it. The Filibuster Single Estate. Next up, something I got in a raffle. I, I showed up at One Stop Bottle Shop in the middle of a raffle. I didn't even know they were having it. I wasn't paying attention, obviously, to their social media. And why I'm there, yeah, I, uh, they went through the people who were there for the raffle, had the tickets, and after that, they opened it up. And they still had a couple of these left that we could buy. So uh, this is the Maker's Mark 2024, the Heart Release. So I have opened it up for a small taste, but a full review is coming on the channel soon. Next up, oh, you're like, oh, Mike, that's not bourbon. And, uh, well, it's not really a traditional American whiskey. It's a single malt whiskey. You know, I've, I taste whiskey and taste bourbon review them both on the channel. I've never reviewed a single malt. I've tasted single malt before. I've heard good things about this Virginia distillery. This is a single malt finished in cider casks, apple cider casks. It's 93 proof. I think I got this from my friends over at Ridge Walk Bottle Shop. And I thought, why not? Time for me to try a single malt and Virginia Distillery's got a good reputation on single malts. So we're going to be trying a single malt soon on the channel. And last but not least, this is not available in my area. Bourbon Deluxe. These guys are known for their fabulous rums. 
and they came up with an eight-year-old Kentucky straight bourbon whiskey, cast strength, 119 proof. I got this from my friends over at Sealbox. Uh, it's uh, from Rolling Fork. If you the distillery is actually Rolling Fork, the bourbon's called Bourbon Deluxe. It has a, a good reputation, so I thought, well, we're going to give it a shot. Bourbon Deluxe coming soon to the channel. Another two-minute bourbon review. So that is our bourbon haul for the last, well, probably the last two weeks. And yeah, I'm still buying a lot of whiskeys and bourbon. And it's not really even allocation season yet. We're just starting to see some allocations come out, but we're not in the middle of it. And today, I'm going to be hunting for some of those allocations. So we hope you enjoyed our bourbon haul. Let us know what you've gotten recently. And as always, never drink and drive. Please drink responsibly, and we'll see you next time.